What's up guys? I'm back. And as you can see, I went ahead and got myself the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Mutant Mayhem. Let's get into it. I gotta go over this fast because I only got 10 minutes and I got a lot of figures here. This is how the singles look. That's Uno Dos, Stress Quattro, Leo, Mikey, Donnie, and Raph. They come in these. I saved one, you know, I opened one nicely while I ripped open the rest, just so you can see how the packaging looks when it's not tore up, okay? And here's how the glow in the dark boxes look. I got the Raph and the Leo glow in the dark box. I'm only gonna show you the Raph. This is how the Leo box looks, because they're pretty much the same exact box, just different turtle, okay? And it's a uh, Target exclusive, okay? So, let's get into these figures right away. I, I don't even want to like waste any more time. Um, I got these guys from Target, in case you didn't know. Uh, for Well, I got the singles for 10 bucks each. So, 40 bucks for all four, and then like 44 after tax. These guys are almost five inches tall. Just barely, just barely five, almost five inches tall. And what am I going to use for with you? I think Leo, Mikey, and Donnie are the same mold for the body. Slightly different. So I would say they're like about two inches wide, maybe a slight bit over two inches wide. And then Raph is going to be the widest here. Even with that arm out, I would say he's about almost three inches wide. So Raph is a different mold than the rest. Let's get into that actually. Let's just check him out. What? Right. Let me turn on the light so you can see him better. There we go. Light. Yeah, I like how this figure came out. There's two versions of Raph. There's a black pouch and small R. And then there's this brown pouch with the uh, big R. I like this one better. I don't mind how he looks. I think he looks really good, but the glow in the dark version did not get the same uh, attention to detail. Like, look at those faces. Glow in the dark version wrap is kind of looking a slight bit boot bootleggish because of what they did with the eyes. It's all over the place there, and just like the half-assedness of applying the the face while Raph is just like looking badass on his regular version. I love it. Um, articulation, let's see. Well, not much articulation, but I knew that already. These are not collectible figures. They're action figures for kids. So that's why they're 10 bucks. And that's why they're not as great quality as most of the figures we're used to collecting. But to each his own. You know, people don't like these because of the figures, or they don't like them because of the turtles. That the, the people are not liking them for some reason or another. Hey, I can get them to do this pose, though. Can I get them to stand? Yeah. So that's not too bad. I'm gonna leave him in that weird position. Let's look at Donnie. Donnie came in really good. I think Donnie's the best looking out of all of them. And he has so much going on for him. He's got a fanny pack with a cell phone sticking out. I don't think that's... Nope, that's stuck in there. That's permanently in the fanny pack. And then you have these headphones here. who do not, They do not fit on his head. You can try all you want. They're going to snap right off. So I just put them around his neck so they look somewhat better. And the glasses... I found out through trial and error, come off. They have little peg holes in the back that you can just put the glasses in there, so that's pretty dope. He's blind. Give him his glasses back. He's not blind no more. And uh, articulation wise, it's not too bad. Like when I put him in his arm like this, I can make it look like he's. Oh yeah, block! You know? Let's see. Wow, so he's way better than Raph because his knee can come all the way up. That sucks, Raph. That really sucks, bro. But it is what it is. Yeah, he's got way better articulation. And he goes all the way up. Now their feet, all their feet just spin around. There's no articulation for that besides just spinning around. So it is what it is on that. The arms look pretty good. 
And yeah, I like I like Donnie. I think he looks really good. I don't mind at all. They all come with holders for their weapons. So they can all put their holders in there. I mean their weapons in their holders. And what we got here is the Mikey. With some freaking dog hair on him. Okay. Uh, so Mikey was the one that everybody's been giving a lot of heat towards. Like, he, he grew on me. I'll say that. It took a while for him to grow on me. Because that face is just so goofy. But he grew on me. And as far as the figure goes. Oh, yes. More articulation. Oh, we can get him sitting in vehicles. Like for the van. I'm not getting the van. But, you know, if you are, you can get him to sit in there. I got enough vehicles. Yeah, this is pretty dope as a figure. I have to be honest, he's probably the best out of all of them. Just because, not just because of the articulation, but because of uh, the paint job. Look at the difference. Like, that's so good, man. Like, all they needed to do was do the black lines. But that's why the SDCC versions are coming out. And honestly, I've seen better customs than those SDCCs. So, to each his own. Now, Leo, he came out really good too, but same kind of situation here for the uh, glow in the dark. He just didn't do that well of a job on the glow in the dark version's faces. I mean, you tell me, but that, that, that regular one looks better to me, the common, if you will. I'm talking about them like they're pops. These are a common. And these are exclusives. Technically, it's true. This is a common. And this is an exclusive. Um, yeah, so not happy about how the glow in the darks came out. But they all articulate the same. So if I'm articulating the regular version, I, it's the same exact way for the, the glow in the dark. And yeah, good articulation for Leo as well. Maybe not as high. Oh, no, no. It can get high. It just has to bend the shell on the bottom a little bit. But it can get up there. And, you know, arms, I've already articulated them because they're holding their weapons, but I can show you one. Oh, his sword comes out. Swords come out very easily of the hands on this Leo. At least one of them. Because it doesn't have that much tightness. Elbow. Full rotation on elbow. Yeah, they all do this, by the way. So I'm just going to use Leo as an example. And then, you know, if you get them, try it out for yourself because... I got a lot of figures here and not a lot of time. All right. Yeah, I like the way Leo looks. He looks really good. You know, F you up. Oh, and, you know, just side note, just so I could show, the swords fit really easy in the back. Like, so easy. So, they did a good job as far as toys for kids. These are amazing. These are amazing. Um, as far as collectibles for somewhat older kids like man child kids not so amazing like these right here i hate so much the bias opinion i hate them because the way they look and the way they articulate which sucks and their weapons my unbiased opinion uh, opinion excuse me my unbiased opinion is i hate them because of the way they look and because of the way they articulate and because of their weapons they suck these things suck they glow in the dark that's whatever. I'm not even going to go through it. They suck. They suck. These turtles that they came with, the pre-mutated, are awesome. They go in the dark, but they're awesome, I think, because they come with the painted colors on the top of the shell. And they could have done that for the regular ones. I really think they could have done that. I mean, I get it. You did the color of the green skin tone to differentiate them, but it's kind of whack. And then uh, we have the weapon grids that, you know, piss you off or just like the turtles, they're going to piss you off or they're going to make you happy. Look at this. The original microphone nunchuck. That's so awesome. These are all the original weapon grids and they just modernized them. That's pretty much it. With the hook blades and the metallic swords and the freaking ooze canisters and the metallic pizza. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me see if I can give you a little bit of glow in the dark action here. I don't think it's going to show up very well. I can try. Nope, because I have daylight behind me. Da, 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 da. Uh, if you haven't seen pictures, I'll post pictures of them glowing in the dark. But tomorrow, we're going to be seeing this. My upgraded and evolved cyborg. Napoleon cyborg, that is. Stay tuned. See you tomorrow. Peace, peace.